Moving on to race number six now, and a couple to highlight for Gary Vole. The first of those is Regal Reward, who was a winner through the last preparation, just trained off at the last couple of starts, but again, at the living jump outs, looked forward for its race day return. Not many. Also in race number six for Gary Vile is for Torre Otto, who's a horse that lost all his confidence through the back end of last preparation. But again, we saw him forward at the Live-In Jumpouts on the 10th of June. Over the 1,000 metres, he'll get better with further, but he looks as though, again, he can be well competitive on Saturday. Moving on to race number seven, my old favourite in Satin Belt. Now, she found some form through the back end of her last preparation. She promised us a lot through that uh, first part of her career. And again, at the Foxton uh, trials back on the 4th of June, she looks to be coming very nicely to hand for Kevin Gray. Finishing off well, though, right across the track here, still Satin Belt, Miss Shernan, and over on the inside, Pink Graffiti, getting down to the line, and... Uh, that's the way they'll hit it. Fourth over the line has also in race number seven. You would have seen Pink Graffiti in the previous trial was set and belt. Here is Pink Graffiti's performance at Otiki on the 17th of June. It was a heavy 10 uh, on this occasion, seemed to plough right through it. And speaking to Bryce, he believes Pink Graffiti's coming up very, very nicely. Pink Graffiti's in front though with a charge after it. The under the line wins second. Moving on to race number eight now, and happy star for the Benner and Winyard team. You will not see a better trial than this on the 17th of June. And speaking to Jono, he really does expect this horse to kick some goals this preparation. Happy star and great neck. And down to the line, it'll go on and score and score. Also in race number eight is a horse called Floral Art. Now this one trained by Peter Didham was a Premier Day winner at to Trentham last preparation on a wet track condition. This is a strong a trial heat we're going to show you. Heat number four out of Oteki on the 17th. Winning this was crowning start. Well that form has been franked and I thought she was eye catching coming in for third. And down the outside Power and Passion and Floral Art. They're lining up here. Uh, we've got crowning star on the inside Desert Magic but uh, another one here. <laughs> Under the line, it'll win here for Lisa Royal Press. And, uh, and into the last, and a northern runner now, Arlington Gold for Tony Bike, an acceleration three year old gelding who has had the three trials placed in the first two and took out this particular heat at Waikato on the 23rd. Arlington Gold has the lead short of the line though, and Arlington Gold will win it. Uh, that's a wrap on the trials and jump outs performers for Awapuni on Saturday. Good strong fields and I hope amongst all of those you can find a winner or two on Saturday.